Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so we are going to do a video of a sample that was sent to me. Um, this is the Ansel 8310. This was sent to me, shipped to me uh, free of charge. Um, but uh, it's not a sponsored video because it's. I'm just uh, giving my opinion, my review of it. They want me to review this, so we're going to do a review of it. This is uh, 22... 2249 um 2249 is is the cost of this on Amazon uh this is one of the more popular um, scanners it's cheap it's inexpensive so let's see what it does all right works on 1996 and newer easily determines the cause of check engine light reads codes displays definitions turns off check engine light reads live data stream views freeze frame i am readiness retrieves vehicle information supports english german and, uh supports can all right guys so um i'm gonna take this out of the box gonna be unboxing and a full review we're gonna plug this in and i'm gonna see whether this is a decent scanner or not if you guys have this drop a comment in the comment section let us know whether this is um um this is um good or not all right guys all right guys so this is what it looks like right out of the box and uh it doesn't have a ud um usb usb port so you guys can't update anything like that um i don't know how long this has been around this has probably been around for a long while probably a product that's still it's a product that's still selling obviously but it's probably been along for a long around for a long while um uh it's a simple obd2 scanner it's lightweight it's small got your up and down button exit and enter button and uh, we're gonna plug this in and we're gonna um, operate the vehicle in a well vent operate the vehicle in a well to keep it off uh, corrodent and water all right i mean the first one i'm not quite sure why 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 that is but in any case let's plug this in and uh we'll take a look at what it does all right guys so if you guys don't know uh your obd2 port is some some of them are most of them are actually under the steering wheel Depending on your making model, some of them are on the center console, and um, yeah, so just you just plug it in, guys. Turn the ignition on. Press any key to con to continue. Okay, so uh, press any key to continue. Press enter. So right off the bat, it does a scan. All right, and, and I like the, I like the readout that it gives you. All right, I like the readout that it gives you, and it actually gives you specific readouts of the engine and the transmission. Let's see what it reads out. Read codes. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm used to as far as um, as far as um, a good diagnostic view and uh, a good format as far as uh, diagnostics and, and all that stuff is concerned. So you can read codes, you can erase codes, it gives you live data for view, freeze frame, IM readiness, O2 monitor test, onboard monitor test, vehicle info, EVAP test leak. So I'm already happy with this because um, uh, this is what I'm used to. Even uh, on, on, on the cheapest one that I have, I don't, I don't, I have an Autel. I don't know if Anson Autel um, are uh, connected to each other as a company, but anyway, uh, let's see what each one of these does. Store codes, enter. No codes were found, obviously, because I do not have a check in tonight on my dash. Pending codes, enter. No pending codes are found. I'm glad about that. Uh, you can erase codes. Uh, if you guys have a check engine light, uh, you guys can erase codes that way. Very, very easy. Live data, let's see what live data does. Well, no, no, I press exit instead of enter. So, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, are you sure you're not? No, I don't want to exit. Jeez. No, I don't want to exit. Press enter. Okay, okay. So, we're back here. So, anyway, live data. Let's uh, see what that does. I wish the enter button was here and the exit button was here because I get used to uh, put uh, to. Um, anyway, you, you can view graphic charts on this. And uh, it gives you a readout, fuel system, load, load is the battery, 14.1 is what the battery is charging at. Um, and uh, I'm not sure about any of this, but MAF, 
You know what I what I wish that uh, these uh, live data have? I wish they have like what normal range is, and then it, it shows you the the range that your vehicle is working at. But it seems really up. It it has a like it's 17 of 36. And I'm on the second page of this. Um, 19 of 36 evap percentage. Um, very 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 good if you're the kind of person who likes to uh, know specifics about your vehicles. Uh, live data specifics and stuff like that. Um, what I want to know about this is if it has a like uh, the uh, transmission temperature, load ABS, uh, you know, uh, because that's uh, with CVT transmission. You guys don't know. I have an Infinity, and a lot of times you can um, you have to know what the transmission temperature is to fill up to to get a reading on it and stuff like that. But but uh. 106 right DTC I don't see like a low percentage uh, uh, ECT is easy is ECT the transmission temperature long RPM VSS now most of these um, scanners in this in this price range don't actually have that kind of information which I don't know why it wouldn't because it should anyway am I yapping too much on this right now as far as low tests I don't see any other temperature like number for it anyway let's exit out of this let's exit out of this so view freeze frame data uh, I am I am readiness enter since DTC is cleared this drive cycle I gotta tell you I am kind of I'm like really impressed uh, impressed with this as far as the amount of information that it gives you um, let me just exit out of this and O2 monitor test. I can see what that does. Um, I'm not quite sure what these readings are. Normally, you get a check engine light for that, for like an O2 sensor or whatever. You just change it out. I mean, that's what 99% of people do. So, EVAP leak test. It has an EVAP leak test. Okay. Reading PID. Which is a. The selective mode is not supported. Um, the whole EVAP leak test is um, a, a pretty, uh, a pretty good information to have, particularly if you have a like a, a random misfire situation. Um, if it tells you that there's an EVAP leak, then you could. Sometimes people just don't know if there's an EVAP leak in your vehicle. But vehicle info. Let's see how much information that gives. Turn on with engine off. No, I will not turn my vehicle off with the engine off. I think it just reads out the VIN, but um, to be honest with you, um, right off the bat, exit, yes, um, right off the bat, uh, language, contrast, unit of measure, right off the bat, I'm very impressed with it. For something that's like $22, uh, I'm going to give this a, a, a thumbs up, definitely. I'm going to have a link in my description section and um, you guys can check it out and uh, I have a top 10 link of... Uh, 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 sensors, OBD2 sensors that you guys can get. Uh, very impressed with this item. Uh, if you guys have this yourself, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether this is a decent um, item or not. Alright guys, take care.